Papa. My name is Dr. Kwekupo Kwasanti and I'm the director of Kintampo Health Research Centre. Kintampo Health Research Centre is one of the three research centres of the Ghana Health Service and our mandate is to conduct health research that informs health policy with the aim of improving um, the health of the communities within Ghana and also internationally. The institution was established in 1994. Uh, since then we've conducted several research that targets women and children. Uh, recently, we've done research that target the general population, including men. There was a program in place. We were given vitamin A to um, pregnant women hoping that we will reduce maternal mortality. So basically, this study was to, to confirm whether that's true. And I think we found otherwise. And now, government has stopped, the ministry has stopped giving vitamin A to pregnant women. And that has saved Ghana so much. Between um, 2015 and 2016, we realized that um, hypertension was prevalent in Kintampo. And a, a survey using the WHO stepwise approach revealed that the prevalence of hypertension was 25% around then. And we realized out of the people who were hypertensive, about 55% of them were not linked to healthcare. So we decided that um, it's important that we intervene. The birth cohort study is a baseline malaria epidemiological study that was set out to look at the infectious rate of malaria among a birth cohort of children in Kintampo and its environment to test how frequently the children got malaria. And all this was set out to form basis for future malaria interventions. In the area of HIV, the Kintampo Health Research Center, in collaboration with the Maastricht University Netherlands, um, it's in a study that's looking at the determinants of medication adherence among persons living with HIV. I'm involved in the antibiotic access and use study, uh, which we say in short, the Abacus study. So the focus of this study is to look at the sociocultural and contextual factors uh, that influence access and use of antibiotics. I've been working with the Kentapo Health Research Centre for the past uh, 12 years. Primarily, I was assigned to the mental health department where we basically conduct research to describe the epidemiology of mental and neurological disorders in the study area. One of the projects I work on is the KE609 study. Uh, it's a malaria drug trial. Um, it's a phase 2A trial. Um, and the main focus of that is to uh, look at the safety aspects of uh, the drug. Malaria is one of the, still remains as one of the main public health challenges in Ghana. And so it's important that uh, we always have tools to fight against malaria. Several studies on maternal and neonatal health, but notable amongst them is the maternal mortality study, which we codenamed Obapavita study and um, the oxytocin study, the new hand study, and then the embrace. The malaria vaccine trial, which we started uh, in 2006, uh, today we are very excited about it. Uh, it's being piloted in Ghana, way beyond the communities in which this uh, vaccine was investigated in Kintampo. 
Uh, we are very excited about our existence. We've received a lot of support from the Ghana Health Service leadership. Our prior directors, Professor Uswe and the late Polata, have made significant input into the work that we have done. And we look forward to continuing this in the many years ahead of us. I worked with Kintampo Health Research Center as director of the center from 2002 to 2016. And I must say that I worked with a very wonderful group when I was directing the center. On this note, I wish to congratulate the staff both past and current of key charity that I work with and those who are continuing with the wonderful work that has been ongoing. In terms of efficacy of drugs that we test, in terms of uh, the trials that we carry out and whether people are coming down with certain kind of infections to be able to assign causality you can take out the lab which is playing that critical role in our clinical trial that we carry out so the lab I would say has been very vital and played that critical role in supporting the studies that we've been doing over the past 25 years and we will keep improving in that regard currently we are working out and doing some projects that is on ecological, environmental, and human surveillance of tick-borne diseases. This we are doing in collaboration with other uh, institutions. And the main aim of this study, we want to collect ticks and Aedes mosquitoes to be able to identify them to the species level and later on analyze them for molecular and immunological tests. Currently, we are working on a study on hookworm immunology study so we want to know the, the effects of uh, the host factors on abundance absorption. Data with integrity is the best you can get for a research group. So to have systems that can provide checks that to clean the data that you pick from the field um, cannot be overemphasized. So that is key for us. And this modern era, you can't do research without ICT. So we make sure that we are at the top. We get the best um, software that will en 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 enable the researchers to do their work. When we receive a proposal, we actually look at the, the content, the scientific basis and the ethical basis. We look at the documentation to make sure that everything is, is, is in place. And then we then review to find out whether the researcher has addressed all the ethical issues, the respect, the dignity, the rights of the research participant. And this work is very key, it's very fundamental to the work of the research center. Without ethical approval, no research activity involving uh, human subjects will, will take place in the, in the center. So we do this to protect the research subjects and also to protect the researchers themselves. Working with Cantampo has been has made it a lot easier. Uh, the you know the, these are logistically complex projects where we're doing a lot of measurements, clinical measurements, and air pollution exposure measurements. So there's a lot of data, a lot of uh, sensors that generate very large data sets. Um, but our, our partners in, in Cantampo have been have made it easy. Frankly, they they've, they're really really skilled and competent and tenacious and, and diligent. Uh, and that's made it a, a real pleasure and it's made the research a real success. The Kintampo Municipal Hospital has over the years worked with the research center on many projects, especially involving children. 
And it's through that collaboration that the children's ward was even um, opened in the hospital. Um, they also have a trial center which has been set up within the hospital premises for clinical trials. They will continue to be able to source the necessary funding, do the research that is necessary and also improve the overall well-being of the community in which they serve. The X-ray machine we are using now was given out by the KHROC, the Kintampo Health Research Center. We have doctors who are also supporting. And recently, an incubator was presented to the NICU unit through the Kintampo Health Research Center. So I think they have medical officers who also support at the hospital. The research center no buy na abu a kentampo mine. Ama ye nu yanom ye ma ye nan fufu o etimi anya adwuma aye. Abu e ba fiti ase ye no na ye oba pa beta. Nuo no ye nyina aye no bi. E ye ni padua ni ye. E ma aye ni padua no e be ye fufu o. Me de me ma famude ye. Me hu se me kala nyina asesa. E ma e bo aye pa. No mo buy so mo be boy ama adwuma ye ya de shea o mo wa ha ni be o mo ye free baby o mo nya adwuma ye se bi oni pa o mo form o ha de me ka se abe adwuma bi abo o ha ana private company bi o ha afa nu pa ti sa da pa krem ke da bo de ene research center de we ze e ye e free e free e free ba ko o mo ye nu ya abo krem pa pa in fact, health research center. If we have an uh, an institution here in Kintampo here helping, but not like health research center in any way. They did well. They approach the chiefs the way they approach the, the the tenant. Those who come to them, we the chiefs and the elders, and the way they are doing, I think they are, they are hundred percent. As you done, I may on say. Sa research center yu ebe dru eba be di ni 25 years na minimse ejima omo ye no abre ni na ranya min kwa na meka nkrofo di hu adans ye pa efa dimedia omo di no ho na enim bua bia anka nkrofo ntimi prezi na nkrofo prezi ni de na ye se eyema community no in Tampu, crude, you know, any Ghana man, you know. The yeah, mechanics say, every single say, I'm going to go and you, I'm going to say, because I'm going to be bad, or I'm sitting on money, I'm bravo. I've been here for 17 years. I started as a field worker, and then I ran through the ranks to become a supervisor. From there to senior supervisor. Currently, we monitor field workers, the activities on the field, to collect forms from the field to the office for office-based staff to also work on. Affecting society has been a hallmark. So the 25th anniversary has been a remarkable time that we've all experienced since we've been in this research center. And I think uh, we're all happy to celebrate with our leaders. I joined the center 23 years ago as a field worker. It has been challenging. Things has not been easy. But with the grace of God, we forged till beat. And I've upgraded myself from a field worker to a hospitality management, a manager now. I was a baby then. So when I grew up, my parents told me about it. And now I became a nurse and I got to know the importance of vitamin A. So I became much happy being part of some vaccination like that or some research like that. I've been working here since 1994 when the centre was established and currently I'm responsible for the health and demographic surveillance system. It's as you know, you have been 
na o monte asie me ka se ye ko bai bi kura bi ko twi tu se nye ye nye ye ha ne ba nti ye ne ne kasa ya na o twi asie e nam so ama ajuma ni ba je ne e ko so o ajuma ni de ye ma ye pa ha ajuma ni ye ma ye nti ye gusu ye ajuma no Our research center stands for excellence, quality, and uh, integrity. And we do all this with the aim of improving quality health in Ghana. So we are very excited about our prospects in the future. And uh, we, have, we thank the communities of uh, Kentampo, and indeed, all other communities across the country where we have done research for their support. Yan Fangam, Yan Pajentum, Yan Junon, 